Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the first St. Patrick's Day parade in what is now the United States, but it might not be the one you're thinking of. Hey everyone, welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade, and today's version of Pancake History is talking about St. Patrick's Day. Now, not the holiday itself, but rather a celebration and how the United States is celebrated. Now, if you go to Google and you search for first St. Patrick's Day parade in the United States, you're probably going to get this in New York, 1742. It's a great, it's a continually running parade, great for them. But what if I told you you could rewrite history? Alright. You see, this guy right here, Dr. J. Michael Francis, he was in the archives of the Indies in Seville, Spain, and he found documentation that proves that the first St. Patrick's Day parade was actually held in St. Augustine, Florida. Let that sink in for a second. Now, what does that mean? Well, St. Augustine is the first of a lot of things. Now they have one more. You see, Dr. Francis found documentation in the paper trail that shows the purchase of additional gunpowder for celebratory firings of the cannons in honor of San Patricio, St. Patrick. And that was in 1600. And in 1601, the same paper trail, except this time it was a procession through the city. Now, you may be a little confused. Why would Spanish Florida, St. Augustine, why would they celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Well, you see, in the late 1500s, late 16th century, there were actually two Irish guys living there. Foremost would be Ricardo Arturo, or Richard Arthur. He was an Irishman. He was the parish priest for the city of St. Augustine. And I'm pretty sure he had something to do with this. And there you have it. You have the first celebration of St. Patrick's Day all the way back in the year 1600 and the first parade in 1601. Kind of rewrites history, doesn't it? Let's let this pancake finish, it's just about done. See if we can figure out what it is, see if it came out all right. Now, St. Augustine is full of a lot. And why do we not hear about all this really cool stuff in history? Well, you know, history books are written by the winners, like I tell my students. A lot of our standards are based on the English because they took North America. Well, you have to dig a little bit. But there's a lot of really cool stuff that was out there. And, you know, don't tell me history's dead. Don't tell me history's boring because you know what? You can always find some really cool stuff. Now, let me say we flip this thing over and see what it looks like. All right, hopefully you can tell it is in the shape of Florida with a little mark right here in the center. I'll zoom in with the camera. Hopefully you can see Florida. Hopefully you can see a little clover leaf celebrating St. Augustine's celebration of St. Patrick's Day in 1601. Now, hopefully this showed up on camera. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like, found it informative, go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll make more videos like this. For Virtual History 360, thank you.